In this video, I want to talk about my fantastic experience of Konya in Turkey. I arrived at Konya. I heard that Konya is the most conservative and religious city in Turkey. Semi and Mosque. The mosque was built to next to the funerary shrine complex of Reb Nara Numi, a Persian Sufi mystic. I had a chat with other travelers who were not religious. We all agreed that the mosque is a great place to take a break as a tourist. Rumi is considered one of the greatest ports of the Persian language. First, you should say Rebunana instead of Rumi in Konya, otherwise the local people might not understand. That's what I heard from the Konya people. Rebunana Rumi is the great of Sufism. But I met uh, a couple of locals who had different opinions of Sufism. As a Korean, I can see some similarities between Sufism and Buddhism. Korea used to be under the influence of Buddhism for over 1,000 years. For example, musical instruments used in Sufi music are surprisingly similar to instruments used in Buddhist music. Sufi whirling dancing looks kind of like Buddhists entering anatta. Anatta means that there is no permanent self or essence in anything. Let's listen to the music being played in the museum. I'm blown away to see Ragunara tomb in the museum since I thought it wasn't open to the public. But again, this is Rumi's place, why not? Rumi told the people that love is the path to spiritual growth and insight. He welcomed all people regardless of religion and ethnicity. Whoever you may be, come. Even though you may be an infidel, a pagan, or a fire worshiper, come. Our brotherhood is not one of this pair. Even though you have broken your vows of repentance a hundred times, come. The beard of Muhammad, Shakali known in the Ottoman language as Shakali Sharif, is found in the Melbunana Museum in Konya. The beard of Muhammad is kept in the brown box. It's getting near lunchtime, so I'm feeling a bit peckish. I found this restaurant that is highly rated locally. There is only one item on the menu, Atle Akme, which they are making right now. Atle Akme is a pizza-like dish that originates in Konya here. The Atle Akme itself is quite simple. The base is thin and the toppings are uncovered. Traditional, traditional Konya food. The salad like side and the apple acme make a flavorful combo. Mm. Just like a normal pizza, it goes best with a can of coke. Oh, very good. Very good. I love it. The archaeology museum in Konya is a small wow. hidden gem. It has a small list of Roman sarcophagi. According to the archaeologist I met three in the museum, Hercules sarcophagus dated to I'm, 250 AD is the best wow. thing that the museum has. 
250 to 260 AD Roman period You can see the carvings on the sarcophagus. These carvings describe the 12 difficult tasks assigned to Hercules. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, pure art. I guess. I have a chat over tea with the museum archaeologists and the managing staff. I have a great time and somehow ended up doing a magic performance, bending a spoon in front of the band. I bend his spoon, okay? Yes. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Bravo! <laughs> I have a worn out denim jacket and jeans. I wanna fix them. I visit a local tailor shop where I meet the talented tailor. He fled from the Syrian war and settled down in Konya. He does some fantastic magic to my clothes. I'm so happy about his work. I ask about the painting hanging on the wall. He explains to me that this is the painting of Mehmed the Conqueror who conquered Constantinople. In 1453, uh, obviously they are so proud of him. Ali, Ali. Oh. Okay. Ana, uh, Ali, min Best of luck to see them people. The Furun Khan restaurant in Konya is very close to the Vietnam Museum on the high street. It's a restaurant specializing Turkish oven kebabs and has a good reputation locally. It is considered one of the most famous restaurants in Konya according to Google reviews, but I think it is one of the best restaurants in Turkey. What is also very special about this place is that there is no menu at all. There is only one choice. Oven baked lamb with bread and a raw onion. That's all. Moreover, no knives or focus are given. All guests are supposed to eat with their hands. I get a room in the hotel behind Azizie Mosque. The mosque is magnificent, influenced by the neoclassical movements that began in the mid 18th century in Italy and France. I'm hearing the praying sound very, very very loud from the mosque in my hotel room. It's an awesome experience. I love it. Thank you for watching my video. This is the end of my story in Korea.